Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and here we are taking a look at Proteus. This is the closed beta. There's a grand total of two levels, and I gotta tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, I absolutely despise that. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, this game is good. I've been following this since that trailer dropped, I think about a year ago. Uh, it looked like it was gonna be a clone of Doom 2016. And in many respects, that's exactly what this is. Only it's really, really, really awesome. I mean, I'm telling you, this game is about as good as Dusk or Medieval uh, or any of those other retro revival shooters. But it just has this presence to it that is, in many respects, better than those games. I don't know what it is about it. It's these 2D, 3D voxel, it's not really voxels, but these 2D graphics in this 3D game, just, it works so well and it just, it gets so much stuff right. It, it's quite astounding, really. Now, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, they're using the pain sounds from a medieval, because I recognize that. But there's a lot of good things about this game. Uh, the first thing is, they got the fundamentals right, that's for sure. Right now, I'm playing this with a controller. Uh, and I can jump back to keyboard anytime I want, which uh, is something that EA and Bethesda have yet to actually master. Uh, unlike with Bethesda, you can actually minimize this game, believe it or not. I mean, truly, it's such an astounding concept. But in terms of gameplay, this thing, it's, it's really quite hard to quantify what makes this game so much of an id tickler compared to something like, say, Dusk or any of the other retro revivals. It just feels more entertaining. It's quite hard to... It's, it's really difficult to explain it because it's... You kind of have to experience it. But you've got the levels. They're designed in such a way that they constantly funnel you forward into more and more, you know, greater combat. The weapons are absolutely excellent. We can definitely see some Doom... Uh, brutal Doom vibes here when it comes to all the blood and gore and that also makes it makes a difference when it comes to uh the overall presentation of the game the enemy ai and the enemy uh, attacks are also quite engaging as well uh when it comes to all the enemy attacks they actually feel like they have some weight behind them and these the graphical design of the game is also something that stands out compared to dusk dusk has that quick Quick one early 3D look, whereas this is very much inspired by Doom, but it's definitely more. This game just feels like it's very polished. But this is one of those things where this game is, in many respects, we're gonna we're gonna get really, really, really uh, over dramatic here. We're gonna say this game is a system, ladies and gentlemen. It is a system of ultra violence. Also, I love it when there's portals in games. It just looks awesome. And yes, our objective for our grand total of one level is to activate a portal. But just look at these level textures. Like, the game looks good. Especially for something on Unity. Unity is often mocked, but holy crap, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I know it's just a basic explosion, but it feels good. We got our pinky wannabe here. I'm just surprised that these 2D sprites feel as good as they do. I think it also has something to do with the lighting as well. But this is definitely a game you get into. Like, the music here, I gotta say I like a little bit more than uh, some of the other Retro Revival games' music. Like, this definitely has, not necessarily a Doom vibe. I don't think it's quite hard enough for that. But it's definitely harder than what we would normally get. And I like the fact that it's free of any dubstep -y distortion or anything like that. The chain gun here, oh my god, it's beautiful. Especially if you're using a controller because it just, it just rocks. I mean, look at that. This reminds me a lot of the chain gun from the uh, earlier inter iterations of Brutal Doom. Uh, the early Brutal Doom chain gun just shook the whole screen. It felt like you were legitimately just spraying hundreds upon hundreds of rounds at the enemy. I also want to point out that uh, the frame rate's consistent. I'm just surprised at how well this game is actually running in beta. I mean, there's just so many other games that are made by professional studios that it's like, my god, a little indie game like this works so much better than that, really? The controller thing is something that I 
am inordinately uh, impressed by. I probably shouldn't be as impressed as I am, but it is something that's like, well, you can actually switch from keyboard to controller. And truly, they're breaking new ground. Now, when it comes to overall difficulty, I'm playing this on medium. Uh, medium difficulty is absolutely excellent. Uh, one of the other issue, issues with other retro revivals is the fact that the difficulty is kind of like all over the place, which can really get a lot of fatigue in the uh, player. Whereas this, I have died a couple of, I did die a couple of times in this level when I first played it. Uh, now I'm just kind of blasting through it because I know what to do. But I like the fact that you can at least die. That's important, because it can't be too easy and it can't be too hard. Uh, I recently did a live stream on a retro revival game called Hellbound, which is also supposed to be based around Doom 2016 in many respects. And it's not bad, but it's just a little too difficult. There's not quite enough health, whereas here you always pretty much have enough health to survive. And thus, that keeps you constantly engaged in what's going on in the game. It keeps you constantly engaged in the killing. Now, one thing that's very important about these levels, is you notice, it funneled me right to this door. I didn't have to try to find it. The game itself organically put me at the door. And I think that is a very important thing. It's one of those things you don't notice unless it's done poorly. Now, all the weapons do have uh, secondary fire, and there is reloading in this game as well. Uh, I really like it when a game gives you a lot of different opportunities to do different tactics when it comes to fighting. It definitely keeps the game from getting stale, and that's the thing about this. I've already, I have just finished playing this, and already I'm having a lot of fun again playing it again. Because it's that well done, ladies and gentlemen. I am just... I, I'm really quite impressed, because I'd watched the trailer, and it looked good. But sometimes, you know, trailers can be misleading. I mean, any trailer can show the best aspect of a game. Now, in terms of overall aesthetics, the weapons do look pretty good. Uh, it's not just your typical designs, although this shotgun looks a lot like something from Project Brutality. This pistol also looks like uh, Brutality's pistol. These uh, machine guns here are also... Eh, these are a little different from, from something you'd find in Project Brutality. Chain gun, also a little different. I kind of like the little fins coming off the barrels. Uh... Also, this little, this little part of the level here reminds me a little bit of an area in Doom 3 where there's some Z-Sex standing by uh, a door. Uh, the HUD here I also quite like. I like the return of the little face. So I guess we've got Proteus guy. Now, since I haven't actually gotten hurt, we don't actually see the skull that comes out as you get more and more hurt. It looks really bloody metal. I mean, th this is one of those things where... This is definitely a must-buy when it comes out. Uh, just, just from this one level, I, I'm already hooked. Like it is everything I hoped it would be. The lighting is just amazing in this. This is, and also as you can see, you can get your weapons drenched in blood, and you can look, charge up the shotgun. The sound effects are absolutely amazing. I mean, it's one of those things where retro revivals can work. I mean, we definitely have seen a lot of retro revivals do well, but this thing, it's something completely different. I mean, th th this is this is Doom, but, well, I'm not going to say great value Doom, because this is not a great value Doom. This is like, I'm trying to think the best way to describe this. I guess it's kind of like, you know, if Doom is an AK-47, then this is like an AK-47 designed by Jim Fuller, you know? And I'm pretty sure all my non-gun gun fans have no idea who Jim Fuller even is. Uh, Google him. He makes some really top-tier AKs. Uh, but th th right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is like... This is an AK manufactured... Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, if Doom is a Russian-made AK... Then this is a Bulgarian made AK. There we go. That that's more accurate. I mean, this is still an AK, but this is like Bulgarian. Uh, actually, 
once again, if you're not a gun gun person, I guess you probably wouldn't know the distinction between a Bulgarian and a Russian AK. Basically, when uh, K Mikhail Kalashnikov was still alive, he essentially stated that the best AKs outside of Russia were manufactured in Bulgaria. Uh, and that still kind of holds true to some extent, although American AKs have caught up. I know that from personal experience. But th this is definitely... This is... This is the Bulgarian AK version of Doom. There we go. It, it's like, it's that good. I mean, I really do... I w actually, no, I would like to see a little greater definition on the enemy sprites. They're a little too indistinct for my taste. I'd like to see some more distinctive things on them. Uh, I also quite like the checkpoint system in this. Normally, I hate checkpoints, but it's done right in this game. Uh, you're, not, you're not set too far back, and it provides that little bit more incentive to uh, play a little bit better. Now, keep in mind, I still prefer my quick saves, but if the difficulty in this game uh, maintains throughout, uh, you won't really need the quick saves, because you won't be dying a lot of annoying deaths. But I mean, just look at this. Like, you just lose... The best kind of games are the games where, like, the world around you just kind of grays out. And, like, you're not really paying attention to the time. Or, like, if you're really busy all the time, you're not really caring about that. This is, in every way, an id tickler. Now, I really hope the rest of the levels in the full game will maintain like this. Because this is a game where, in order to lose yourself into the game... You have to uh, be constantly funneled to where you need to go. Backtracking just does not work in a game like this. And that's one of the great aspects of just, well, this one level. I mean, there is no backtracking. It's always easy to figure out where to go. Now, there is an auto map. Let's see if I can bring it up here. Even the auto map is really impressive for an independent game like this. Look at that. Look at the size of this level. Look at that. This is an indie game. Like, holy crap, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not really sure why the corpses need to disappear because, well, I mean, this is for the PC at all. I'd imagine the PC would be able to handle, you know, corpse day, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. I suppose that could just be a beta thing. Because I always prefer corpses staying, but look at that! Look at that! Just a bloody blood fountain! Now, I have no idea if this game's gonna have a story of any sort. I would kind of hope that it does, because I always like it when there's just that little bit of flavor to the game. But this is this is Bulga pure Bulgarian AK. This is one of those games where this could definitely, if the quality maintains for the rest of the game, an Alpha Prime game. Because this is a great little game that you can just jump into uh, and just play without having to really think about anything. And the levels are fun enough where you won't actually get bored halfway through your little uh, mini playthrough. It's also a good game uh, to tide one over until maybe. Uh, Slayer's Testaments ever gets finished. I already did a let's play of that, or not a let's play, but a, a live stream of that mod, which is basically Doom 2016, but with the Quake 1 engine. But this is definitely a retro revival done right. I mean, it is just so much goddamn fun! Like, I did not know what to expect, especially after playing that Hellbound game, but they got it. The devs of this game, they got it. I'm really glad that I got to do the uh, closed beta because ju just to have the privilege to play this game. Now, I also like that the levels uh, have a lot of crap going on in them. You've got stuff, platforms being la raised and lowered. That always adds a little bit of dimension to the overall fun. But the reality is, though, if you've done your game right, you don't need a lot of fancy cinematics. You don't need a lot of fancy scripting. You need a shotgun and some enemies. And this has that quite, quite, quite well. I mean, this does what you would want from a doom inspired game there's no bloody arenas it's just it's just fun and that's the thing that that's exactly what this is this is just an extremely fun little game and i cannot wait for this to finally go into uh, early access and i am getting slaughtered here let's grab the old arc reactor here this is the I, I do like this plasma gun sort of thing it actually is a little bit different it does remind me a little bit of the uh one of the weapons from uh, Painkiller, to a degree, but it also kind of does its own thing. I, I'm quite impressed by that as well. I really do like the sound effects they use on the charge shot here, and like they even make shooting the uh, 
not Mancubus is down pretty fun. That's not a Mancubus. Not Caco Demon. There we go. I need sleep, ladies and gentlemen. I kind of would like to see a melee attack as well. Because there's some times where you just want to bash an enemy upside the head. I think that would be a lot of fun. I would not want to see a... Uh... Yeah, there we go. Campaign finished. What a tease. What a tease. Even the little challenge level is a lot of fun. But I would not want to see uh, like a glory kill system in this game. But I would like to see a little bit of uh, just a melee system where you can bash somebody over the head. Because it always makes things that much more visceral and that much more fun. Yeah, I know the original Doom didn't have that, but still. I really do like this little challenge thing here, though. Because this is a lot of fun. And I know uh, that's a little trap there, game. I mean, usually these challenge things I wouldn't touch with a 10-foot General Oz pole, but, well, this is actually pretty fun. It is pretty damn cool. I'm looking forward to seeing more of these. Now, I think... If you do the challenge level, you should get, like, some sort of upgrade for your weapon. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do that. But it would be nice if they did, because that would give you more incentive to play them. But yeah, that's the beta, ladies and gentlemen. That is Proteus. And that's all there is. Uh, it's off to an absolutely amazing start. I cannot wait for the full release to be released. And so I'm General Lots. Wish you good Doom Eternal and good Doom 2016. Or whatever makes you happy. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, and if you can, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue bringing you this great content.